morning. It's Friday, February 26, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Evidence of Things Not Seen, and our scripture is Genesis chapter 15. Some time later, the Lord spoke to Abram in a vision and said to him, Do not be afraid, Abram, for I will protect you and your reward will be great. But Abram replied, O sovereign Lord, what good are all your blessings when I don't even have a son? Since you've given me no children, Eliezer of Damascus, a servant in my household, will inherit all my wealth. You've given me no descendants of my own, so one of my servants will be my heir. Then the Lord said to him, No, your servant will not be your heir, for you will have a son of your own who will be your heir. Then the Lord took Abram outside and said to him, Look up into the sky and count the stars if you can. That's how many descendants you will have. And Abram believed the Lord, and the Lord counted him as righteous because of his faith. There's so much more to this story than whether a good man like Abram gets a blessing from God. In fact, Abram said it plainly that all the wealth and position and power that was lavished on him was useless without fulfillment of God's plans. The unspoken part of that is whether Abram was going to be patient enough to see God's plan through. At this point in the conversation, what was unmentioned was faith, the evidence of things not as yet seen. Of course, Abram had no choice but to wait. Neither do we. None of us can push time ahead. We only think we do so when we rush around like chickens who've lost their heads, assuming our hyperactivity will somehow pay off in the end with a better life. And such activity only proves the opposite of faith. It shows our nervousness about what will happen. Abram had some of that nervous angst about the future. He looked around at the sea of God's blessing on his life, but as most lonely people do eventually recognize, all the stuff and perks in the world is meaningless. One of Abram's descendants, King Solomon, found that out. From his diary, Ecclesiastes, we find out that the king tried it all, had it all, and all of it was as empty as a puff of smoke. Ecclesiastes chapter 6. God gives some people great wealth and honor and everything they could ever want, but then he doesn't give them the chance to enjoy these things. They die, and someone else, even a stranger, ends up enjoying their wealth. This is meaningless, a sickening tragedy. So, what sense are we to make of such a truth? Is life meaningless? Not according to God's end of that story in the last verse of today's scripture, Genesis 15, and Abram believed the Lord, and the Lord counted him as righteous because of his faith. Reading all of Abram's story, we find out that Abram's belief was faith, that substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, according to Hebrews. God promised Abram a heritage of so many descendants he could never remember all the names. He might as well have tried to count and name the stars. And Abram, possessor of so much stuff people chase after on this planet, decided that trusting the God with no face to see and no name other than I am made more sense than trusting his portfolio. This is what caused God to count on Abram as one who was righteous, a person in right standing with his creator, a person of true faith. For you today, if you're looking for meaning in this life, skip the lifetime experimentation with all the glitter, gold, and getting, and that will be wiser than Solomon's approach. Instead, start with the evidence of the unseen, Start with God's love for you. That's where you'll find the greatest response of your heart, because that's how he designed and created you. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.